We're going to go inside the fuel tank of a Saturn I rocket. This is SA-5, the fifth flight of a Saturn I rocket. And right there where that red arrow is, that's where we are, looking down on kerosene as it's being emptied in flight. That Saturn rocket would have nine tanks, eight surrounding and one in the center. And those pieces that are coming out from the side are anti-slosh baffles to keep the fuel from sloshing around. All that movement of fuel and oxidizer sloshing around would wreak havoc on the guidance system. So they were very much wanted to try and prevent too much sloshing of the propellants. So originally they floated almost empty aluminum cans. They were like beer cans, about the size of beer cans on top, but that didn't prevent the sloshing enough. So they started putting these baffles. Anti-slosh baffles and anti-vortex baffles have been around for a while in launch vehicles all through. In fact, the space shuttle liquid oxygen tank on the external tank has anti-vortex baffles at its base. Now when we come up here, we're going to see shutdown, and when you see shutdown, you'll see the fuel come rushing towards the camera. That's because the acceleration is decreased, and then suddenly the stage will be in free fall, and you'll see that it's zero G. Now they had lots of television systems like this and film systems to capture this sort of view so that it could be seen what the behavior in actual use was. They had one actually in an S4B hydrogen tank to see what the hydrogen would do in coast. And we're coming up on shutdown here. There's shutdown. And then we're in free fall. So you've taken a look inside a Saturn 1 fuel tank during flight.